Example 3. If a car travels at a speed of 25 meter per second for 5 minutes, how far will it travel? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. To solve a physics problem, it's always a good idea to list down all the information given. In this question, we was told that the speed is 25 meter per second. The car traveled for 5 minutes, which means the time is 5 minutes. We need to change the unit to second so that it is consistent with the unit of the speed. We are asked to find the distance traveled by the car. From previous slide, we know that the physics formula for speed is V is equal to D over T. Substitute V and T into the equation. Solve the equation and we get D equal to 7,500 meter. The car will travel 7,500 meter in 5 minutes. This is a typical way of solving a physics problem. First, list down all the information. Second, write the correct equation. Third, substitute the relevant information into the equation. And fourth, solve the equation. Example 4, finding average speed. A car took 5 hours to travel from Kuala Lumpur to Penang. It moved with a speed of 110 km per hour for the first 4 hours and 90 km per hour for the last 1 hour. What is the average speed of the car for the journey? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. One of the common mistakes students make in finding average speed is they try to find the mean of the two speeds by summing up the two speeds and then divide them by two. This is just not a correct way of finding average speed. The average speed could be determined by the formula average speed equal to total distance over total time. The distance can be calculated from the formula V equals to D over T. Therefore, for the first 4 hours, the distance traveled is 110 times 4, which is equal to 440 km. And for the last 1 hour, the distance traveled is 90 times 1 equals to 90 km. Therefore, the total distance is 440 plus 90 which is equal to 530 km. The total time taken is 5 hours. As a result, the average speed is equal to 530 km per 5 hour, which is equal to 106 km per hour. From this example, we can conclude that we shouldn't calculate the average speed by finding the mean of the two speeds. Instead, Find the average speed by using the equation average speed equals to total distance over total time. Example 5. A marathon runner ran 6 km north and then 8 km east. If he took 2 hours to finish the run, A. What was his average speed? And B. What was his average velocity? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. The runner ran 6 km north and then 8 km east. The distance traveled is 14 km and total time taken is 2 hours. Therefore, the average speed is 14 over 2, which is equal to 7 km per hour. In order to find average velocity, we need to determine the total displacement and total time taken beforehand. By using the Pythagoras theorem, you should find that the displacement is 10 km, average velocity equals the displacement over time, which is equal to 10 km per 2 hours, and the answer is 5 km per hour. From these questions, we can see how a speed is different from velocity. Speed is distance over time, whereas velocity is displacement over time.